we are looking at uh, trigonometric functions which is actually chapter 3 and in this the aspect is of functions so we will be talking extensively about the functions so before we go ahead let me tell you that trigonometry uh, is actually a combination of two greek words which is uh, trigon and metron which is all about measuring the sides of a triangle so previously it was developed to solve the geometric problems uh, involving the triangles but now the study has reached you know why are navigation survey surveying different sciences to designing a trigonal circuit uh, describing the state of an atom and also to predict the height of tides in the ocean analyzing a musical tone etc and uh, in the earlier classes we have seen about trigonometry and we have studied the ratios of acute angles as the ratio of sides of a right angle triangle and we have also st uh, studied this uh, trigonometric identities and application of uh, trigonometric ratios in solving the problem related to height and distances but in this chapter we will be talking about the concept of uh, trigonometric ratios two trigonometric functions apart from their uh, properties now the concept which comes here in the trigon or trigonometry is the angle so what exactly angle is so angle is nothing but the measure of rotation you take any ray and you rotate it along this initial side this is your initial side just assume this initial side as a vertex o we uh, indicated by o and we rotate it through some uh, some uh, rotation we rotate it so this rotation is actually the angle from the initial point how how much it has gone or the the measure of this particular thing is the angle so angle is the measure of rotation of a given ray about its initial point and it can be the positive angle as you see here and as you observe here it can be a negative angle also so the these angles when we have a initial side and we reach around means we start from the initial side and we come back to the terminal side so we say that this is the complete revolution the rotation means the complete revolution which gives rise to the initial side being equal to the terminal side this is the one complete uh, revolution see you might have observed a say a car or a cycle so the tire the it uh, revolves so it revolves number of times and we can measure we can measure how how much uh, or what is the rotation how many revolution it has taken place and these are the basic building blocks of uh, our discussion so for that the measurement we have a degree measure and also the radian measure as we see here that the most common the most commonly used uh, units of measurement of an angle is actually degree measure and radian measure degree and radian measure so the degree measure uh, please uh, you know observe very carefully because this is degree measure because it is, it is going to come a lot in uh, later discussion so if a rotation from the initial side to terminal side is 1 by 360th of a revolution the rotation from initial side to terminal side is 160th of a revolution the angle is said to have a measure of 1 degree again if a rotation from initial side to the terminal side to the terminal side is equal to 1 by 360th of a revolution the angle is said to have a measure of 1 degree so a degree is divided into 60 minute and a minute is divided into 60 seconds so 1 60th of a degree is actually a minute now so we represent it by this one minute and 1 60th of a minute is called a second which we can represent it by 2 dash so 1 degree is 60 minute 1 minute is 60 second and as you can observe here these are the angles in the degrees so if we complete one 
um, say revolution or rotation it's 360 degree half of it is 180 degree and two third of it is 270 degree now we can go back also so what we can do is we can start from here and come back so this is around 420 degree so 360 degree plus another 60 degree that will give us 420 degree but now we are moving in the clockwise direction if we move in anti clockwise direction then this will be 420 degree and again clockwise direction that will be 30 degree and we will we'll place a minus because we are moving in the clockwise direction so this is this is the true contemporary and trivial things we have uh, to note then the radian measure we have just known about the degree measure so what is the radian measure so there is uh, another method or way of measurement of an angle which is called the radian measure so angle this is actually the angle subtended at the center you consider a circle so the angle subtended by this arc of length one unit the circle is also having a radius of one unit so one unit of radius and one unit of this arc length the angle is actually one radian one radian is this angle okay where this oa is the initial side ob is the terminal side so we say one radian is uh, is one by one means the angle subtending this is actually an angle which is subtending so we'll talk on terms of the angle one and half c well, one and half in the opposite direction one and half in the uh, non opposite direction here the radian measure because we are moving around or ro not rotating here but we are essentially talking about the angle which is subtended by the arc so the the biggest arc of a circle is what it is a circumference or it is it is called the whole um, a perimeter is basically of a uh, circle which is the circumference so circumference of a circle of radius 1 unit is 2 pi is 2 pi you can observe that the we have learned in the earlier classes the 2 pi r is actually our circumference of the circle you place r is equal to 1 you will get the circumference of, of a circle of radius 1 is 2 pi so one complete revolution of the initial side is it is going to subtend how how much of angle it will be giving you 2 pi radians and uh, if you talk more generally in a circle of radius r and length r this uh, length a subtend it is subtending an angle of 1 radian okay so this is uh, actually the theta which we are talking about is the angle so this is given by l by r so l is the length l is the length and uh, r is the radius of the circle l is the length of the arc so the angle it, it is going to subtract we uh, we want to generalize it that will be theta is equal to l by r so that is l is equal to r theta okay so this l equal to r theta is uh, very much uh, we we'll, we are going to use and before we go ahead let us see is there any um, relationship between a real number or a radian uh, let us consider a circle the radius to be some say one unit and this is a point a we will draw a line what i am trying to say here is that this is the circle and this is the line which is the tangent we represent this by zero where this line touches and all other points by the measure means one two like this we which we generally indicate on a number line I'll take this point and I'll try to drape or rope it on this circle. So what will happen? This line is going to become like this. If I stretch it and place it over here. In a similar fashion, I'll stretch it and try to drape it on, onto the circle. So all these points, say minus 1 or 0 0.5 or 0 0.75, they are going, they are going to do what? They're going to do or they are going to point to some point means they are going to subtend some angle so every real number is also a radian so when we will talk about radian you see that the answers will come in real numbers so every real number because it is actually corresponding you are placing it over here so it is corresponding to the angle so this is the relationship between your radian and uh, real numbers okay so what is the relationship between degree and radian please understand this because this is going to be used immensely in the later discussions 
we know that a circle subtend at the center if this is a circle the angle which it subtend is nothing but 2 pi which is actually the 2 pi radian and we have learned just now that the degree measure of the same is 360 degree so why not to equate them 2 pi is equal to 360 degree so it follows that 2 pi radian is 360 degree which is actually divided by 2 is nothing but pi radian is equal to 180 degree and this relation will will give us a very um, handy way to convert the radian into degree and vice versa for example one radian let us give you give me uh, that uh, observation of actual values because we are not going to use it anyways uh, because we will be using this 180 by pi and 22 by 7 will pi is a rational number but still will take 22 by 7 as an approximation so one radian is equal to 180 by pi that is 57 degree 16 uh, minute and one degree one degree is nothing but one pi by 180 radian we are just taking one and making others to go on the other side so that is one radian is 180 by pi one degree is pi by 180 and if you observe that these values are 57 degree 16 minutes and 0 0.0176 and the relationship between the degree measure and the radian measure is something like this how because degree 30 degrees pi by 6 you want to confirm just multiply this by 180 by pi what you will get pi pi will, will get cancelled and what you are going to get you will get let me tell you you will get 180 by 6 and 180 by 6 is nothing but 30 degree and if you want to confirm the other way around set this is 60 degree multiply it by pi by 180 degree so the what you are going to get pi will remain there 60 will will cancel 180 three times so that will be pi by 3 so this is how you have to you know by practice you will be uh, able to understand that which degree is corresponds to which radians so before uh, we actually go to the next discussion that is the notational convention and very important topics which are coming uh, we'll stop it uh, right now and uh, thank you so much this was all about introduction radian and degrees